Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the OSINT Curious Tech Tips with me, Micah Hoffman. I'm going to show you a little bit with some with how to use some Google Analytics codes and other trackers and tags to find seemingly unrelated websites and domains that are actually connected somehow. Now, all this technique is going to do is point to other sites that may be related to the the site that your uh, is your target. Then it's not going to tell you how they're related, um, and that's an important distinction. That's something that you're going to need to figure out. Let's take a look at how this works. Here, I've got a website up. This is ge.com, just General Electric's uh, website. We're going to look in the source code here. I'm going to hit F12, which brings up my developer tools. And in my Chrome here, I'm just going to go ahead and do a find for UA dash because I know that the Google Analytics codes start out with UA and then a dash or a, a hyphen. Here's one uh, case where it is. And if we hit the down uh, arrow to search for the next one, we see UA dash 102, 218. Uh, 57-9. Now the way we read this code is the UA code and with the the root here the 1022857 that is for the account that whoever's managing this site whoever's managing this analytics account uses and then the dash 9 indicates that there's at least eight other codes that have been created and possibly used on other sites out there. So think about this, if I have a big site out there and maybe multiple domains that I'm in charge of, I can generate one Google Analytics code and then have those dash 9, dash 10, dash 11 subcodes that will point, I can then put into each of my different websites. When you visit the dash 9 site, my analytics dashboard says, oh, you went to the ge.com site. When you visit the dash 10 site, it says, oh, well, Micah visited some other one. Uh, so we can keep track of where traffic's coming from based upon these codes. Well, since we know that this UA 10.22.218.57 is something that is common to a bunch of different sites, let's go ahead and search on it. Let's go ahead and copy this content. We're going to copy the UA and just the root of it here. And now we're going to go to our old friend census.io. Now census.io, we're going to ask it to look in the HTML source code that it has for this string. And to do that, I'm going to put things in quotes. First thing it's going to do is look for IPv4 hosts, but we know that we're not looking for IPv4 hosts that have these numbers in it. We're looking for websites. Switching to websites, we see that we actually have two websites that are somehow connected. Can you figure out how they're connected? Yeah, GE.com and GECompany.com are probably pointing at the same content. So of course they're going to have the same codes in there. Well, this is somewhat helpful. But there's other websites that are specifically made for searching on these codes and trackers and tags. Let's flip over to Spy on Web. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy that again. Move over to Spy on Web. Now this site has an API. They are sometimes up and sometimes down. Uh, it's a little bit, not sketchy, but just unreliable. Here I've already pasted in the UA code that we want to go to, that GE one. And when we hit go... Here we now have seven domains, including the GE.com where we harvested it. We don't see the GE company site that we did see over here on the census tab, but we see health of nations, healthy imagination, and other ones. Now, we can go ahead and take a look at some of these. Let's go ahead and um, go to healthy imagination and look and see. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see if it's up. This could be a demo fail. Let's try a different one. How about GE? Well, let's try Health of Nations. One of these has to work, right? Oh, Healthy Imagination can't be reached. Access is denied. Ooh, so these are maybe internal projects or projects that that GE has done. Let's try BrightIdea.com. All right. 
greatidea.com. Come on. No whammy. Yes, we got it. Let's see if this is somehow related to GE, General Electric. We don't see anything here. Maybe at the bottom. Oh, wait, I saw something. GE. There's our customer. All right. Well, let's take a look and see what the analytics code is here. And let's go ahead and search for UA. Oh, here, we're going to do a find for UA dash. There's one user analytics code. 226567. Here's that same one. Same one. Oh, so I'm not sure. I guess Spy on Web has some older data. But now we could take this information and go ahead and do another pivot and find out, you know, what sites are related to that. Interesting. So sometimes we find old data that's out there. Cool. Let's see if we can use a different different website to do a similar thing. Instead of copying the UA code, we're going to copy GE.com or maybe www.ge.com. Let's see. And go to Built With. Now, the Built With website allows us to examine a lot of different parts of websites just by putting in a domain. Now, I will warn you, Built With only allows you a certain number of queries unless you create their uh, an account on their site. And their site uh, signups are free, so that you might want to do that. Here we have the technology profile. This is what the site is running, the, the pieces that make up the website. We're interested in this relationship profile over here. Let's take a look at it. Now you see there, there's our UA code. That's exactly what we wanted. The nice thing about Built With is since it's constantly scanning these sites around the world, it knows when it first found the, the tag and when it was la most recently detected. So June 2019 right now. It also knows what sites it also sees that tag on. And you see on the right hand side, these sites, uh, 1-800-GE.com, accessge.com, they are highlighted. As I scroll down these other sites or these other tags, um, other sites on the right hand side will light up. And you see there's a huge number of these sites that are somehow related to GE.com. Also, the, one of the lessons out of this is, while Google Analytics may be a well-known analytics code, it's not at all the only one out there. More sites are using Yandex or, or other ones, Facebook trackers, and the Built With site will pull up that information. You see some other UA codes. All right. And when they were used. Now, since it has this information, if we scroll down, we can look per domain when these different trackers and tags were used on their site when it was seen. You see for the GE.com sites, there's a huge number of them that were seen over the years. As we scroll down in this little frame within our frame, we see Eco Imagination, GE Works, GE Citizenship, and each one has some or all of the tags that we saw up in the main section. So what our job would be is to harvest this information and then go ahead to figure out how these sites are related. Now, obviously, these starting with GE kind of give away that the fact that they're probably a general electric site. But some of these like Healthy Imagination, uh, Supply Solutions.in, those might be a little bit more challenging to figure out how they're related to this site. Okay, so pull the UA codes, but also look for other codes and tags that are in pages. And if you have a question as to which kinds are out there, pick a site and then go to built with and look at all these different tags. Sometimes these third party sites do the work for us and can show and reveal interesting trends of the about the information, such as the dates when they were seen. So this is a technique that you can use to figure out other websites that have similar trackers and tags on them, and then you have to figure out how they're related. I hope you've enjoyed this session. I'm Michael Hoffman, and I hope that you stay OSINC.